celebrate his election, the new governor has declared a statewide sales week and reduced every prisoner's term by 25%. That's right. Now that Dalton's only have 711 years to serve, each of them. <laughs> Mr. Peabody, sir, mm -hmm. these papers were missing the first name, so I filled them out. Joe Dalton, 25%, plus Joe Dalton, 25%, plus Joe Dalton, 25%, plus Joe Dalton, 25%, which means... Joe Dalton's sentence is reduced by 100%. He's free. <laughs> this feels so strange after all this time. It also means we now have a new place to fill and we've got to find a new inmate as soon as possible. It's been three whole weeks. Joe could have sent us a box of chocolates at least. Don't worry, I'll bet he's cooking up a smart plan to get us out of here. <gasps> a grandpa! He give treats to dogs for doing favors, those old guys. Let's see, Mr. Grandpa John. You went and held up a bank. Not very reasonable at your age, is it? I thought once you get to a certain age, you can do what you want. <laughs> what an amusing remarkism. You are such a little prankster. <laughs> Come on, I've got stuff to do. Thanks for the visit, Kitty Wings. Huh? See, a nice little doggy has your slippers. <laughs> you ninny. Grandpa doesn't like slippers. Let's try something else. Ready to escape, guys? Huh? Uh, it's me, Joe. <laughs> ah! Yeah, no doubt it. That's Joe. <laughs> I stuck it on real hard so it wouldn't come off. But Joe isn't that old. Hmm? But then maybe he's our granddad, Grandpa. Let go of me, you big ninny. <laughs> Follow me. I have a plan. <laughs> Don't forget to drink your water, Grandpa. You need to rehydrate at your race before you escape. Come on, Gramps, let's drink. He's not your Grandpa. Oh, I know that. <laughs> He's our Grandpa. Hands up! <laughs> You're right. Works every time. <laughs> He's treating an old man. You should be ashamed. It seems that with Joe gone, they're trying to be even more nasty and stupid than him. I am not stupid! Uh. They feel miserable without their brother, so they're acting mean. I'll shape these young'uns up, you'll see. Good idea. Let them listen to the voice of experiencism. You, Grandpa! Heads, mittens, scarves, cushions? Come on, we're getting out of here. <laughs> Hang on tight! How about a pair of flower print underwear? <laughs> Now, what happened here? Ugh. Hands up! Well, who? Stop playing with us, Grandpa John. I am not Grandpa John. I am Joe Dalton! <laughs> huh? Open the penitentiary huh? doors! Did you remember to drink water? That keeps your head straight. Are you not joking? Look! <laughs> My, oh my, he thinks he's Joe Dalton. Hmm. You alone can persuade him that he's not your brother. I'm counting on you. But who is he? Not Joe. Joe's incapable of huh? building a machine like this. Look, I had it made. Okay, as long as we get out of here, you can think I'm whoever you Grandpa. are. Grandpa! Oh, and I have a plan. Help! Grandpa John has a pistol. He took Avril hostage. Drop your weapons! Hmm? Get my walker. Open the penitentiary doors! <laughs> They think I'm old and crazy. They want to dare shoot. So, are we going to meet up with Joe? Hey, don't leave, Gramps. I've got a surprise for you. Mm -hmm. 
He seems terribly agitated. If we step in now, he could hurt one of the hostages. Let's wait a little longer. Happy birthday to you! Ah! Happy Let's go! Happy birthday to you! Ah! Joe? Oh, that is wild. Grandpa John's Joe's grandpa. Huh? Huh? No, Grandpa John is Joe. Ooh. <laughs> Joe Dalton, <laughs> we know who you are. Let's go fast! <laughs> go! You might actually be needing that walker now, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but still, letting me think I had a grandpa, that's just mean. Uh, well, I knew it all along. Of course you did, Mr. Know-it-all. Oh, will you kids be quiet and stop squabbling? You kids? That reminds me of someone who used to talk like that. Huh? Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> as soon as their backs are turned, we get our cactus disguises. We blend right into this setting, and we escape. <laughs> and now... escape in the cactus field tomorrow, otherwise we will be somewhere else breaking rocks. I know where to find cactus plants. <laughs> uh, uh, very pretty. What a truly mysterious plant. We know so little about its extraordinary powers. Mm -hmm. Ouch! Ow! 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 Oh, 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 lean it closer, just a little. Not too much! Oh. See? You've already got your cactus suit, Joe. Okay, we need a distraction. Mm. Rubber ball? You want the ball? <laughs> go on! Go fetch! <laughs> mm. The rubber ball crossed into a parallel world! <laughs> huh? The Daltons! They've escaped! Escaped! They can't be far. Find them, Renton Dumb. Uh, in a parallel world, dogs are given hankies that smell like Daltons. Ruff, ruff, ruff! Follow him. You never know, he can be surprising. <laughs> okay, time to take off the suits. I can't get this off. Can you help? Watch out, you're back. Mr. Peabody, the cactus moved. I can hardly believe that the cactus this can. This new world is so extraordinary. We need to bring it back and study it. What we need are the Daltons. What will future generations remember? The Daltons break out or a major scientific breakthrough? Daltons. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Capture that cactus. <laughs> We're going back. Pete, Emmett, you keep on searching for the Daltons. Open. Cacti are extremely sensitive. 
We must be more delicate taking samples. What instruments do we have? Loads of kitchen utensils. On here. Well, uh, what do we do now? We go save Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind us, we're following the sound. <laughs> the sink stops here. And goes this way, huh? What do we do now, Joe? Get me free fast. Ming wants to make soup out of me. <laughs> Slice through this. Yeah. Ah! You grazed me. Only because you moved. Watch out, Miss Betty and Ming Lee Fu are back. We break down that door. Cheese grater, oh. potato peeler, everything we need. Oh, the cactus escaped. Oh, look, it multiplied. I am not a cactus. I am a princess. Changed into a cactus by a wicked witch. Those three are my sisters. Mm -hmm. You can break the spell by leaving us far from this palace with a pair of scissors. I say, is that some kind of Indian curse? Usually in stories, you break the spell by kissing a princess. Hmm? Let me save you. Yeah. Oh, no! You must take us outside! I promise you! No, no, no! Help! Now stop running away! I am a princess! I am a... Huh? Joe? Okay. The truth is, I'm a princess who was changed into Joe Dalton. Oh, I am so, so disappointed. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, I'm out of ideas. To think I almost ended up pickled in one of the cook's jars. What? We want to make sure that you're not a princess changed into Joe Dalton. What are you doing? No! 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 Green to this movie screening, sir. Seeing a real hero will give our prisoners a sense of true moral value. A movie is a way to escape reality. Well, then I'd better nail this door shut, just in case. If we manage to sneak behind the screen, we can get away in a jiffy. What do we do about the nails? Huh? Don't worry, we'll find a way. Crazy Wolf thanks Miss Squaw for invitation. Our witch doctor, Fabulous Falcon, is very eager to see the magic lantern. You won't be disappointed. The cinematography is so realistic that the first spectators really believed a train was coming at him. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous Falcon was right to bring his magic tomahawk along. You never know. Oh! Smart to knock a wall down. Much more light in here now. The images are realistic, but the Indian dancing is fake. <laughs> Get moving, you ninny! Not now. We're going to miss the movie. And it's Western! You idiot! Poor girl lost her voice. Oh, good! Here's the doctor now! Yeah. <laughs> How lucky is she? Milk the milk to help me enjoy this. This strange... Let's go! Huh? 
I'm dreaming that I'm escaping. It's true what they say. We dream in black and white. How did he do that? Unbelievable. That actor looks exactly like Avril. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good idea to put an anti germ mask on. That's much healthier. So quiet, so calm. <laughs> Tell me, sir, is there a grocery store around here? Let's not ask how. Let's just do like ever. Yeah! <laughs> uh, are you sure? The good guys always win in the movies. Yeah, but the bullets are fake. Nothing can happen to us. <laughs> <laughs> Daltons? Oh. The Daltons are escaping! Stop the screaming! We mustn't do that, sir! They could be trapped in the film forever! <laughs> A little bird tells Crazy Wolf that Fabulous Falcon didn't watch over his magic tomahawk. Okay, we pick up the big ninny, we nab the horses, and we get away as far as fast as we can. What are we doing here? Well, this is the next scene in the movie, Joe, when the hero chases the villain through the desert. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> We've got to get out of this movie! Buddy, for once the bad guys win. There, the doctor is sick too now. He's all gray. Oh la la. My hero, even more handsome in real life. Oh. Oh, so you crazy about me too, doll? <laughs> I actually preferred it when he was silent. <gasps> well then, the bad guys always get punished in the end. Otherwise, there's no moral to the story. Sorry, we won't be bothering you longer. We're getting out of here! Ah! No, Joe! We'll end up bad! We'll end up bad! At the start of the movie. <laughs> Nobody touches my tomahawk. Dream on, Joe Dalton. You will never be a movie star. No one likes watching you on screen. <laughs> <laughs> In accordance with new safety policies, the government has voted that a fire station be set up inside each penitentiary. A specialist is here today to set this system up. Allow me to introduce Miss Nina. She'll train volunteer firemen among you, responsible for our penitentiary's securism. We're looking for men with a taste for danger and a skill at improvising. Any volunteers? <laughs> 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 True heroes. <laughs> 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 
Here's the plan. We set Peabody's office on fire, go in there, grab the key, into the fire truck, and out the front gate. <laughs> For your first mission, put out a fire. There are four techniques. Smother it. <laughs> Drown it. Oh. Blow it out. <gasps> or wait until it dies out. <gasps> Hello. You're not too chatty. Maybe that's because you speak another language. Your second mission, save victims, which means one, recuperate right here. Such courage! Two, carry the victim delicately. Three, resuscitate. Mouth to mouth. You go ahead. No, you go first. You. Imbecile! <laughs> 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 No, I get it. You're playing in a silent movie. It's all in your eyes, right? Silent movie acting. Yeah. Two on pumps and two in house with me. Uh, no. Forward! <laughs> Forget now the ho, the ho ho, the ho bo, the hosiery, the ho, the hoes. <laughs> Did you two down there forget to pump? Huh? <laughs> now we have to retrieve the pig. The rituals? The victims! <laughs> ah, the, the exit! No! <laughs> Miss Betty! <laughs> Wait, oh. I'll do mouth to mouth! <laughs> Now the penitentiary's official firefighters, and Averill for your heroic conduct, I hereby appoint you to the Order of Courage with this crystal medal. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm a fine actor, you know. Joy, pain, anger, and tenderness. <laughs> okay, ready? <gasps> Start again. Ready? Emergency! Curiosity! Yeah. Ah. Yeah, no, he's so humble, Okay, things should be quiet now. An accident with the candle. Always prepare. That's a true firefighter. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Now, Miss Nina, the fire is just too powerful. Time to pull out the stumps. Ah. 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 
change of program. <laughs> Here we go. It doesn't look like your usual fire tactics. Indeed, it looks more like an escape. We're free! <laughs> yeah, what a chase sequence. How many hours of training did that take? <laughs> and with all this dynamite, wait till we hit the bank! <laughs> Baboom! <laughs> Amateurs. No. Unlucky. Is the movie over? Are we able to talk now? <laughs> we have received a moving letter from a frail old woman living all by herself in a little house far from everything. <laughs> so sad. She needs four prisoners to help with housework and odd jobs and against all logicism. She chose the Daltons. Huh? Help an old lady? But what for? Let your heart speak first, gentlemen. What this elderly lady needs is human kindness. You know, this could be a good move. Once we're there with a frail old lady all by herself, escape will be a piece of cake. If they put the Dalton inside this can on wheels, then that must mean that they're food. But who for? Hmm. Howdy, ma'am. Here are the home helpers. Hi there, here we are. How come they're wearing pajamas? Never mind, that'll do. Watch out, these men are dangerous outlaws. We'll be watching them close by. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just stand there like blocks of wood. Come on in. Totally isolated house, and the old girl's completely gaga. Oh, getting out of here will be totally easy. Slippers! Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Uh. Check it out, Joe! It's like skating! Wow! I love your decorations! Mm -hmm. That's good old Fido, my adorable doggy. Ate too many biscuits and ended up kicking the bucket. <laughs> Had him stuffed. Now he's with me all the time. Hi, buddy. Well, why don't you answer? Mm -hmm. oh! uh, I get it. That woman is a witch. She's the one who's going to eat the Daltons. And she turned you into a statue with her evil powers. Don't worry, chum. I'll wake you up, I will. What do we do now, uh, Joe? We take a hostage. Huh? <laughs> ah. no? no. That's a picture of my very dear Mrs. Dalton, an old friend of mine. But that graceful chin line, those intelligent eyes, you're the Dalton boys. Come here and let me give you a hug. Let's celebrate <laughs> cookies and herbal tea all around. No fancy stuff now, boys. Just call me Granny. Yes, yes granny. granny! Okay, no one touches a hair on that little old lady's head or else we have to answer to my and... Um, I'd rather avoid that. I, Prince Rington Dumb, shall hereby release you from her evil spell of sleep. <laughs> You weren't even trying, are you? Now, don't move, boys. I'm going to get some sugar for your tea. I mean, it's not like we can just stay here forever eating cookies, right, Joe? Well, why not? This is heaven, isn't it? Boys, huh? I have some bad news. I'm all out of sugar. We need to head into town to do some shopping. We need to stop by the bank first for some cash. Well, of course we will, Granny. It's better if we go along to the bank with you. With all those thieves hanging around today. No need to disturb those nice guards for a little outing. I think I saw a wagon fly through the air just now, but I'm not too sure, honestly. I have to say, I'm not surprised you and Ma are friends. But, Granny, you must be mistaken. There's no bank out here. Don't you worry, young man. It's on its way. Ah! 
I recognize you. You're the the the, the, the Daltons. Yep, you're right. It's us. And you know what comes next? Go ahead, boys. Get up there and let's grab the loot. She's an awfully resourceful little granny. Come on, guys. Let's get the money. Let me introduce myself. Josie Bang Bang, the ex hold up queen of the West. I needed a hand for my last robbery. That's fine by us, Josie. How do we split the takings? Five ways? What's that? You get to be hard of hearing at my age. <laughs> to find the Dalton's fist before the witch eats them. Mm -hmm. You, it doesn't hurt to help. There's got to be a way to stop this train! Open the door! A train was just attacked. Stop. Millions vanished. Stop. Daltons were recognized. Stop. I want you boys to hand that money back immediately or suffer the consequences. Whoa, 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 wait a sec. We're not responsible. It's that old lady who took all the loot. That is shameful. Accusing that adorable old lady for what you did, I certainly hope you didn't hurt her. It's not fair. <laughs> No, oh, stop staring at me with those puppy dog eyes. It's annoying. You know what? I've had enough. You take care of yourself. She was so sweet, Granny. I wonder what she's doing right now with all that money. <laughs> well, what do you know? A spark of life at last. Don't bother to thank me, selfish dog.